Hello and welcome back to another edition of Teacher Talks. Hey guys, in today's video, I will be talking about Wings of Fire, the graphic novel. This here is the first book in a series of, I think it's about 10 or 11 books. In today's video, I'm gonna give you a quick book review. I'll show you the front, the back of the book, the spine of the book, and I'll also uh, open up the front cover and read a page or two to you. So, as you know on this channel, we do quite a few book reviews. This one is gonna fall into that graphic novel style. I'll just kind of show you a few pages here. And it's an awesome, fun, engaging book. I also wanna give you a little bit of a warning, you students and parents and teachers out there. This is a book that's a little bit violent. It's a little bit, you know, maybe scary to some. So as the overall level goes, I would say that this is about an eight years old and up as far as reading level goes. So somewhere around second or third grade, uh, maybe steering a little bit more towards that third grade. <clears throat> but also, this is one that you wanna think about the maturity level of the student and how they feel about, you know, dragons and some of these dragons are gonna be slayed and they're gonna be killed and it's even a little bit gruesome. So make sure students out there that this is one that you check in with mom and dad and maybe read it together or at least parts of the book together to make sure it's a good fit for you. If it is a good fit for you, I think you're gonna absolutely love this book. It's, uh, let's start off by saying it's just a beautiful book. You can see part of it's sort of in this glossy, part of it in this matte finish. It's an absolutely gorgeous book. <clears throat> this is a graphic novel. Now this book, uh, Wings of Fire, was also more of a traditional novel made for adults that has been brought down to this sort of graphic novel, um, student or kid friendly level, if you will. So very, very cool. All right, let's read the back. Let's see what this is all about here. And there's the back right there. And while I'm at it, I'll show you the spine of the book too. Okay, let's see what it says. Not every dragonette wants a destiny Clay has grown up hidden beneath a mountain, one of five dragonets chosen to fulfill a mysterious prophecy and end the war between the dragon tribes of the Py Pyra. He is not so sure about the prophecy part, but Clay can't imagine not living with the other dragonets. They're his best friends. So when one of the dragonets is threatened, all five spring into action. Together they will choose freedom over fate leave the mountain and pursue their destiny on their own terms. Very cool. Uh, and there are a few words in here that are kind of ones that second graders uh, and third graders might have to get a little bit of help with. But so let's, let's dive more in. So again, this is Dragonette Prophecy um, and the Wings of Fire. Again, this is the book one Dragonette Prophecy. And you can see here, there is a book two, The Lost Heir, and book three, The Hidden Kingdom, book four, The Dark Secret, book five, The Brightest Night, book six, Moon Rising, book seven, Winter Turning, book eight, Escaping Peril, book nine, Talons of Power, and book 10, Darkness of Dragons. <clears throat> I, if you've listened to this channel, you know how much of a fan I am of finding a book series that you like. So that way, if it's the right level and it's a good fit and you like the style book, well, then you know you can either purchase all of these books or maybe check them out at your local library or your school library. All right, let's take a look and keep moving on. You can see it's a really beautifully done book. It really is. It's got these glossy pages and pictures, you know, basically pictures and pictures in that traditional graphic novel style, if you will. And here's a map right here. It says Queen's Glacier Palace and Ice Kingdom. Very cool. Here's the Sky Kingdom, Queen Scarlet's Palace over here. Very, very cool. Diamond Spray Delta, Kingdom of the Sea. So they've got this really cool map that we can kind of check out here. And there you go, the Dragonette Prophecy. And this right here is a little bit of an intro to the actual book. And then you dive into the actual book, which is gonna be more in this graphic novel. By the way, if you're not sure what makes it a graphic novel, so you can see here, like a page like this would be considered to have some more traditional text on it, right, with lots of pictures. But the actual graphic novels typically are gonna be almost all speech bubble 
which falls into this category here. And you can see that those speech bubbles kind of carry through the whole book. So I'll read just a page here to us and that way we can kind of get an idea. So this is the prologue. The mud wing is hatching. It can't hatch yet. We have only four. Feel free to explain that to the egg. I have it. Webs, that's a rain wig egg, you brainless salamander. It's all I could get. Put it with the others, quick. Creak, creak, creak. The prophecy calls for a sky wing, and you bring us a lazy, stupid rain wing? Queen Scarlet destroyed all the sky, sky wing eggs that would have hatched tonight, and we need five dragonettes for the prophecy. Look, he's hatched. All right, very cool. So I just read you a little bit so you can kind of see. It is kind of a little bit funny, right? You can see that they're kind of playing with each other. And also you can kind of see the direction they're going. It's sort of a dragon themed thing here. Now let's also be careful here, right? There's some words that are going in here like calling them a brainless salamander and using some words and some language that again, you're going to have to be a pretty mature student to handle this book. And I would check in with mom and dad and make sure this is a good fit for you. All right, friends, listen, I hope you enjoyed this book review. I think this looks like a pretty awesome and fun one. And again, if you do like it and it's a good fit and you've checked in with your teacher and mom and dad, then check out all the rest of these books. Very, very cool stuff. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Listen, put some comments down below. What do you think? Would you like to see me do some reviews of the rest of this series? Or if you have any other suggestions of books that you would like me to review, I'm happy to do it. All right, guys, we'll see you next time. Bye for now.